Sorry. This is Rockin' with Jam Man. Is with the girls from Plush. How you, how you girls doing? How you girls doing? Hey, how, how are you? you? How are you? Um, you know, just chilling, trying to enjoy life, you know. But school, on the other hand, you know, yeah, that's school, you know, good old school, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Congratulations on your new album coming out this month. Congratulations on that album. You have to be really excited about that, don't you? You guys have to be really excited. Yeah, yeah. I'm super yeah, we're super excited. I, I really can't wait for everybody to hear it. Yeah. Now for then now for a new Ben. You girls have been getting a lot of press. How are you uh dealing with all of it? How are you guys dealing with it? So yeah. far. I mean we started doing live shows in July. Um Now, what do you have to say to the haters who who just say you're a gimmick band because you're an all girl rock band? What do you have to say to them, all those people? I personally think that that speaks more to how they are and who they are as a person because obviously that just shows how they view women in music as just a prop and a gimmick because what? Other than, other than the fact that we're females, there's no other indication that we're a gimmick. I mean, we're real, we're raw, straight up rock and roll. And, you know, we really just bear our souls every night on stage and put our souls out there. And, uh, you know, the only way that I think, in my opinion, that we can be used as a gimmick is if you have some, you know. You know, some we're all you know? equal. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So that's, a, that's personally what I think. I think the general rule of thumb is that if anyone is saying anything unkind about another person, that it reflects more on them right. than the people that they're saying it about. 100%. Especially if it really just boils down to the gender of someone. Like, you don't right. accuse an all-male band of being a gimmick because of their gender. Exactly. Exactly. No one even says all-male band. It's just a band. We're just a band. We're not an all-female band. We're just a band. Exactly. Right. Okay. We just happen to be all females. Okay. No trying to get no trying to get no hate on here, okay? Don't go oh, oh, my God. Friends. I think that's a great question. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Now you girls are also young uh young. And I know when you're young you do a lot of dumb stuff. Uh, trust me, I have experience. <laughs> because you're growing up and learning. How hard is it when the whole world is watching you? How hard is it? I think I mean I think for all of us music seriously and our job seriously right. but you can't take life seriously you know it's like, <laughs> right. like a lot of people would find it ridiculous the contrast between how we look on stage and then our conversations off stage right? yeah <laughs> 100%. and we're really lucky to have the support of our amazing friends and family behind yeah. us which really helps us at home and when we're not in all of this 100 <laughs> percent now, is it to be different being famous and touring when you're young? Do you think you might m miss out on normal stuff that young people do, relationship, parties, things like that? Do you ever think that? For me, for me personally, just just for me, like I I definitely do feel that sometimes, but also I just uh, you know I I just think that fine because I'm doing what I love <laughs> you know and I'm doing what I'm meant to do so it's a big We're, thing too where like growing up I felt like I was kind of missing out because it was like I would always be practicing and like working on music instead of going out with friends right but now it's like you know we're all really like living out our dreams right it's, it's totally worth it yeah, yeah definitely. I mean it's different but you can still experience the same things yeah in a different way yes yeah definitely well said now there has to be a lot of temptations being on the road and it's all new to you. How do you, how not to fall into the rock star lifestyle and start partying really hard? How do you guys not do that? How do you just- Your own type of rock star. Yes, yeah. 100%. Okay. To our experience, like all the other new bands we've seen, like I have yet to run into someone that's really doing the party like a rock star thing. Right, right. There's lots of bands out there, but I think too, especially with the new generation of rock and roll, it's 
people are just being themselves, and I feel like you know you should be able to play a yeah. show and not feel pressured to you know get into those sorts of things. Definitely. Yeah. 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 I think hard partying is overrated. To be honest, I yeah. think it's overrated, and you know also another big thing is you know. I don't want to sound like crap the next day <laughs> because I'm already so hard. <laughs> you just insulted every old rock man. How does that feel? Stay in school. <laughs> Why would you do that? They did nothing to you. What? They party. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. A lot of guys pulled it off, but I just can't yeah. just, like imagine like you know all the travel and we do and yeah. like the morning after like. Party parties like that would be yeah. so miserable. Like I can't do it. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> I already feel dead when I wake up after like not partying. Right. <laughs> so I couldn't imagine it was like staying up all night partying. Healthy body is a healthy mind, and I don't want to judge my body or my mind. Yeah. You gotta treat your body right. Treat your body right. Yeah. That's all I can give. That's all I can give. That is the best thing that you could take forward with you ever. Treat your body right and treat your mind right. Yep. It has to be hard being a, a girl group on the road. I mean, a lot of venues don't even have showers, so it is crazy getting ready before shows. Is, every, is everyone fighting over the bathroom in the mirror? Is everybody fighting for it? <laughs> um, I think we make it work. I yeah. mean, some of us will like do makeup, like you know, on the way to the show, or um, you know, find a bathroom or like. Even like sometimes like the reverse camera on our phone to get ready. So <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's pretty similar to like a guy band where it's like, you know, there is limited space in mirrors, but make it work. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Shout out to Apple for creating the iPhone front camera. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I do <laughs> like Yeah. Just all I got to say. Yeah. 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 <laughs> At your guys' age, most people are just uh, finding themselves being a rock star. Do you think you need to be a different person than who you are? Not at all. I, I feel completely confident in who I am personally. And, um, you know, I I definitely know that there are, you know, you never stop learning and there are there's definitely growing to do still, but as far as who I am, I no, I'm, I'm pretty solid in that and, and pretty concrete. And uh, I would say the other girls are too, 100%. Right guys? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think the best thing you can do is just be yourself. Yeah, 100%. Because everybody has it in them to do whatever they want to do. And if you don't follow that, if you don't believe in yourself, you're not going to reach your full potential. Right. And people can, I feel like people can sense that whenever you're not being genuine and true to yourself, I think. And uh, you're just not going to get anything done, you know? Because then what's your message to people? You know? All right. Good answer. Good answer. Good and nice, strong answer. Good job. You are in the slow clap. <laughs> How do you girls get along? I mean, you have to be together 24 7 on the road. Do you ever fight? my best friend <laughs> <laughs> honestly it's pretty similar to like for like most kids our age are going to college where you're living yeah. on top of like you know a bunch of other people so it's pretty similar i can just say like i mean with you guys i just feel so lucky to be you know going on this crazy journey with my best friends yeah right. i mean these are like my sisters right here <laughs> right that i never had <laughs> a sister from another mother <laughs> Another yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're touring with some huge bands. Has anyone taken you under the wi uh, wing and mentor you yet? The band that we've opened for has just been so kind and generous to yeah. us and like uh, just taking the time to like, stop by, you know, our greener before or after a show and just eat, you know, it's like it's amazing to hear when like, you know, headliners say they like watched our set or are cheering us on and, um, and we've gotten some great advice along the way too. Uh, and we're, we're just so thankful for that. You know, I feel like going into like being an opening band, you you hear so many stories of like, you know, like horror stories from the road. And I'm just so thankful we haven't experienced anything like that yet. It's all been just so positive. Definitely. 
Uh, your looks are so deceiving. You are all so pretty looking at you, and I would think I'm going to hear some pop bubblegum rock, but you girls are awesome. I really love your sound. It's fresh rock and roll. Really shred. Good shred. Good shred. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thank you for the thanks. <laughs> How did you all get together? Was some genius or like God just like, how about we just put some young hot girls together and who rock and just put them in a room? Let's see what happens. What will the world be today? I mean, I don't. I mean, yeah, well, uh, Brooke and I, um, who's our drummer, uh, Brooke and I met in back in 2019, I think, 2020, I think. And we got together in jams and we were just like, you know, the chemistry was there. And then we figured out, you know, hey, let's be a band. And uh, and then you you and Brooke actually knew each other, right? From Yeah, so I went to the School of Rock with Brooke way back when. Um, that's how we met. And she introduced me to Mariah, who I, I heard her sing for the first time. I was like, <laughs> what <laughs> like I, I just never heard a voice like that before ever um yeah no I, I, I Mariah has one of the greatest voices I've ever heard um and I'm not just saying that because I'm her fan I just admire her so much but um yeah so that's kind of how I got together with them and then Bella kind of got into the picture because do you want to yeah, take over I was literally just on Instagram one night and I came across an ad, uh, of, you know, a new band, like all female looking for a female guitarist. And I came across it because Lindsay Hill from Hillstorm had shared it. And so, you know, I think I like kind of come across your different videos um, before, but I was like, you know, checking your guys' stuff out. I went, oh my God, these girls are amazing. So I reached out right away. And then a couple weeks later, we all started jamming and yeah, it just clicked the chemistry was there. Mm -hmm. Your new single, uh, Athena, is amazing. I love that track. How did you guys ma how did you guys do that? How did you guys do that? Just put it together, just make some nice music. Uh, do you plan on putting out an uh out another single once the album drops? Do you plan on doing? It? fans react to you girls when playing live? How do they react? Are they nice and big? Momentum? How do they react? How do they react to you guys? Friends, I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear the question fully. How do, friends how do the how are the fans reacting to you girls when you are playing live? When you guys are playing live? Oh, honestly, fans have been I've honestly been pleasantly surprised with, some, with a lot of the crowds that we've had. Like, people are really energetic and just really positive vibes so far, which is all we could ever hope for. It's seriously so great. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. appreciate it all. And it's fun. It's fun to just all be like one big rock and roll family, you know, for yeah. like, for one night. I know? feel like, you know, we go out and then we feed off of the crowd's amazing energy. So yeah. we get, you know, even more crazier on stage. And then it just goes back and forth between us. Like, yeah, you know, it's yeah. just a ton, a tons of like yeah. back and forth of energy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, do you have to go all out and extra hard just to prove that you girls are not just another pretty face and you guys are real rockers? You guys just go extra hard? I think, I think it's our music. I, I think it's yeah. not so much about us going hard and going all in, but I think our music speaks volumes. And it's, yeah. I think, too, our stage presence, like, you know, it might seem like we're joking around and stuff, but it really is just, like, you know, genuinely what we're feeling in the moment. Exactly. And the music's really just speaking for itself and kind of portraying who we are. Like, we're not trying to, like, you know, look like we're going extra hard or look, you know, badass or whatever. Right. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I mean, we're all <laughs> have a good time. Yeah. And make sure everyone else has a good time, too. Yeah. Uh, do you feel like the rock um, music industry is a uh, boys club, or do you think girls are starting to make their mark? Definitely, I mean, I feel like within the past 20 years, I mean, it's 
just been like a steady incline in like yeah. female musicians. And it's been a super cool thing to see, like for sure. Um, when I was getting into music, I mean, I was always into music as a kid, but I started playing when I was five. And I mean, I didn't think anything of it, but all my influences were men, you know, like my yeah. favorites were like Kiss, Death Wish, Beatles, Sabbath. And I didn't think anything of the fact that I was a girl listening to these bands. But then, like, you know, as I got a little older, then I started to meet people like, you know, Lizzie Hale and Nina Strauss. I was, like, my mind was blown to see that there was more women in this. Yeah. Um, and I feel like in the past few years, it's really taken off even more with, you know, just all musicians, you know, either female fronted or female drummers or frontmen or bassists. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. For sure. I feel like in rock, too, there's a big, like, women in rock stick together. It's a big family. It's very Definitely, empowering yeah, and supportive. It's very tight. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm very excited for the Hailstorm and Evanescence story because of that because it's going to be so great being with Lizzie and Amy. Just <laughs> all these girls that I just love so much. So. <laughs> um, are you worried about playing so many shows with all the bit uh with all these bands getting COVID? Or are you worried, scared? It's always a concern, you know, because it is real, you know, and it's it's there but um i don't think that i mean i personally don't stress too much about it because i you know i i you know we make sure that we're tested and you know we wear masks and we're vaccinated and just all you can do is just do what you can you know yeah and, and hope that you know you stay safe and healthy yeah do everything that you can not yeah. to spread it <laughs> really For sure favorite memory from playing a show Hard. Um, oh, dang. I don't know. I feel like every show is my favorite memory. Yeah. <laughs> just new memories that keep coming out. Yeah. I mean, I, I immediately thought of like our first show. Me too. When we first oh, got yeah. on stage. Yeah. And it, we just had never played a show together before. And, and oh, it was sound check and just seeing <laughs> the members of Don't Shoot. Like, right? Oh my gosh. I was crazy. like, oh my god. It's just really happening. I think another one for me was when we were playing Rock, Oklahoma, and I mean, the crowd was amazing. It's huge. And then we were playing Barracuda, and I just kind of looked over to my left, like, glance, and then I see, like, Mark Tremonti watching our set. Oh, yeah. And oh it was my just gosh. one of those, like, surreal moments, too, because I've, you know, grown up a huge fan of, like, all the bridge and Tremonti. Uh, so it's just kind of like, oh, okay, th this is really happening now. Just, yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> doesn't process that all. Right? It's crazy, because these are some of our idols, and it's just, yeah. How is this happening? <laughs> what is the worst? The worst. The worst. I mean, I, I, yeah, I really don't have anything that I'm like, oh, this sticks out. Um, yeah, I don't think that there are any bad memories that I have yet for a show. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't even know if during the show there are bad memories. I mean, there's mistakes, there's technical difficulties, but those are all learning experiences. I think. Yeah. Rather than bad moments. And we try to laugh it off too. Yeah. You know? Definitely. You know, it's just so much energy, like to beat yourself up about a mistake when you can really, you know, just kind of like laugh it off. Just have fun with it. Yeah. yeah. Like you were saying, like you were saying earlier, don't take everything so seriously. Yeah. You know? Right. Messy. Yeah. It's mistakes are gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You never felt like uh, Vince Neil. What do you say? You never felt like Vince Neil. Fell. Oh, that's oh, I I that that he fell. Yeah. yeah, he fell last stage and he broke a couple ribs. He broke his ribs. Oh, yeah, oh, no. it's awful. It's crazy. yeah, he broke his ribs. You know, yeah. I, I pray that he gets oh, better. Yeah, it's just oh my gosh. Be that's careful. Cool. That stage is always so slippery. Watch out. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's why I don't go on the stage. Well, you want to know what happens? When I get bring up on stage, I just go like, little baby steps, <laughs> baby steps. <laughs> what is next for you? What is next for you? Um, what's next for us, you said? Yes, what is next for a band? Yeah, um, well, we have the album coming out October 29th, as we talked about earlier, and then we are, uh, next month in, in November, we're going on tour with Evanescence and Hailstorm, which is incredibly exciting. Um, yeah, and then we're just hopefully putting out more music, you know, and, and sharing our craft with the world. And we have some cool stuff in the, 
starting to get in the books for 2022 for it. So oh, definitely yeah. keep an oh, yeah. eye out for yes. definitely. How do my followers follow you? How do my followers follow you? Um, they can give us a follow on um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, we also have a TikTok on Instagram and Twitter where Flush Rocks and on Facebook with Flush Official. On um, oh, we also have a website called FlushRocks.net and our TikTok is it just Flush Rocks? I think so. I think their TikTok yeah. is Flush Rocks. Yeah. Yeah, and our TikTok is Plush Rocks as well. Uh -huh. And they can get your new album and merch stuff there? Yes. Okay. Um, all album and merch stuff will be available on our website. Yes. Awesome. Uh, thank you for being on my show. The next time we talk, said the best day on one of shows. Please. Nice talking to you girls. Thanks, Thanks so much for having us. us. Yeah, thank you. Stay hot, bro. Yeah, stay cool. Stay cool. Stay cool in this life. You don't know what could happen. <laughs> Have a great one, guys. You guys enjoy your life. Bye. Have a great day.